I am not the wisest person in the world. I'm not even the most patient person in the world. And there are times where I struggle to be kind to others. But these are attributes that I desire to really enhance in my life with others, obviously. Um, and the Bible actually really gives us a good example on how we can do that. It says in 2 Corinthians 3.18, By beholding the glory of the Lord, we are changed into the same image from glory to glory. What does that mean? In other words, by beholding God, by beholding Christ and their character and how they treat us and their love for us, we ourselves are changed into the same image of God. It says in chapter 8 of Steps to Christ, John, the greatly loved disciple, was most like the Savior, but he did not naturally have a lovely character. He was selfish, bold, and wanted honor. Sometimes he acted too quickly with little thought and became angry when he was not treated right. But when the character of the Divine One was shown to him, he saw his own faults and felt very humble. John saw the strength and kindness of Jesus. He saw his power and love. He saw that although Jesus was a king, he was humble. John was filled with the love of the Savior as he watched him. Day by day, he turned to Jesus until he lost sight of himself in love for his master. His selfish, bad temper yielded to Christ's power, and the Holy Spirit made his heart like new. The power of Christ's love changed John's character. We are sure to be changed when we join ourselves to Christ. When Christ lives in us, our whole nature is uplifted. His spirit, his love, humbles our hearts and turns our thoughts and desires toward God and heaven. You may not have all the answers of the world. You may struggle with being kind or having patience. But I know the Lord offers something so much more to us when we spend time with him and just behold him and just are dwelling in his presence. And I hope wherever you're at in your walk, you are encouraged and and press through the struggles of life. May God bless you, may God keep you, and have a wonderful Friday.